Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. How Chad got independence? Chad is one of the African countries that was colonized by the French. It is also one of the many African countries that got its independence in the year 1960. Let us consider the events that led to its independence. In the late 1800s, French explorers began to show interest in the area and by 1913, France gained control of it, calling it French Equatorial Africa. French advancement in the region, however, did not come without a fight. The initial French effort into this area in the late 1890s faced the opposing strength of a local ruler called Rabah Zubair. Rabah had only recently established a strong kingdom at Bagumi east of Lake Chad before the French arrived. An ex-slave and an active slave trader, Raba proved to be a challenging adversary for the French. However, he was finally defeated and executed by a French force in 1900. With Raba out of the way, French was free to pursue its interest in the Chad region. The primary interest of France and the region was the cultivation and exportation of cotton and, of course, its financial gains. As of 1905, the region was connected with three other French provinces, Ubangichari, now called Central African Republic, Muyen Congo, and Gabon. Of the four, Chad was the least favored and most ignored. Very little attention was given to the locals other than to be used as laborers. A governor general ruled the four areas which were all collectively under the name of French Equatorial Africa. But the region was not accessible and quite difficult to administer. It became a great drain to France's purse. So the French government decided to lease large tracts of land to private companies, practically giving them unlimited power over the people in charge. This method of exploitation was copied from the Congo Free State. The result was brutal exploitation with Africans used in forced labor to gather wild rubber or to work on the newly established cotton plantations. These abuses were clearly captured by Andre Guide in two books, Voyage to the Congo, 1927, and The Return from Chad, 1928. Guide's revelations led to improvement in their social conditions. In 1940, Felix Eboui, an African-European born in French Guinea, which is an overseas region of France on the North Atlantic coast of South America in the Guyanas, became governor of Chad. He was the first man of black descent to occupy such a high position in any French colony. A boy served in the French colonial administration of Ubangi Chari for about 20 years and then in Martinique, which is in the West Indies. Two years later, he was transferred to Chad, arriving on the 4th of January 1939. As governor of Chad during most of World War II, he helped build support for Charles de Gaulle's Free French in 1940. He also gave support to educated Africans and placed more of them in the colonial administration. Eboye also helped to preserve African culture in the face of strong French influences. During the Second World War, French investment began to prove more profitable, particularly in the export of gold and diamonds from the southern region. By 1946, when the World War had ended, the southern region of Chad began to experience some prosperity. France having taken consideration, allowed payments to plantation workers and pensions to those who served in the French military. France had also made considerable investments in infrastructure, constructing roads and schools during its control. But all that was not enough to prevent civil unrest as the people were still treated poorly. After the end of the Second World War, France granted Chad the status of overseas territory and its inhabitants got the right to elect representatives to the National Assembly and Chadian Assembly. The biggest political party was the Chadian Progressive Party, PPT, 
which was based in the southern half of the colony. The inhabitants of Chad were also given permissions to become French citizens. However, France remained in strong control. By 1958, Chad became a separate entity from the other three territories and a sovereign state, though still under the French rule. Finally, on the 11th of August 1960, Chad was granted independence and the leader of the Chadian Progressive Party, François Tumbalbaye, became the country's first president. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.